Hey guy, how's it going? And welcome to the Santa Cruz Tenerife Spain Cruise Port Guide. First of all, let's talk about the location. Cruise ships dock at the port of Santa Cruz. Free shuttle buses are provided by the Tenerife Port Authority, which bring you to Plaza de España, the center of town, where pedestrian shopping streets convert. Taxi are generally available to the pier. If it's not too hot, it is pleasant to walk into town. The new terminal features the bridge length of 395 meters and a depth of 10 meters, along with large check-in area with 50 decks. The terminal will be the biggest in the region at 8,473 square meters, with a long stacking area of taxi and buses. There are also two stairs of the art gangways. The entire facility is a five minute walk to the city center. Bear in mind that some cruise company might say that the free shuttles are only for persons with walking disabilities, but they are there for everyone. To get to the airport, it's about nine miles from the Santa Cruz. To get there by taxi, possibly cost between 15 to 20 euros. Sightseeing Tenerife, the largest of Canary Islands, is also one of the most scenically stunning islands in the world, dominated by a gigantic outline of 12,402 feet high, Maltade. These amazing volcanic islands offer a wide variety of landscapes and tourist experiences. Santa Cruz of Tenerife is a busy main port with ultra-modern bank buildings and plenty of traffic. The pleasant town center is the Plaza de España. In its center stands an unusual tower in the form of four side cross. Activities in town may include visit several museums and strolling through the sandy municipal park, where you can admire assortment of tropical flora. Plenty of sidewalk cafes await for your patronage. Tour excursion transportation Santa Cruz to Tenerife, hop on, hop off tour Hop on and hop off as many times as you like At the 12 conveniently location stop around the city Also cabbies offer tours around the island For example, with the price per party or per person Shopping and food Tenerife has a more or less tech-free status Many electronics perfume store around. Tobacco products are really at discount here and are often much cheaper than the cruise line offerings. Keep in mind that many shops offer CS the time between 1 pm and 4 pm. In the center of Santa Cruz, many stores remain open throughout. And for upscale shopping, head for Alcott English. An upscale and large apartment store with a shopping center attached. A 15 minutes walk from the port, a 4 euro taxi ride away. Communication Free Wi Fi is offered at many sidewalk cafes. McDonald's at the main square is favored by the cruise crews. The most common businesses for shops and business hours are Monday through Saturday from 9.30 to 1.30 p.m. and from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Big shopping centers and department stores open from 10 in the morning to 9 p.m. at night or sometime to 10. It depends. The big store opens sometime on Sunday. And if you plan to visit the museums, they generally close on Monday. Let's talk about nearby places. First, Mount Tide. Tenerife and Spain's highest point. Las Canada's National Park, famed for its spectacular volcanic rock formations. From the parking lot, tourists are brought to the volcano by the cable lift which ends at 3,550 meters. An organized excursion is your best bet here, due to the distance. La Laguna La Laguna is a city in Tenerife. It is the oldest city on the island 
and form capitals and recently designated a World Heritage Site. There is now a tram running from downtown Santa Cruz next to the Plaza Espana, direct to Laguna, which is line number one. The coolest stop of the old town is the terminus of the route, La Trinidad. It is little over an euro one way, and it takes about 40 minutes. And in case of emergency, the emergency number dial 112 free of charge. Valid throughout Spain, the service is given in Spanish and also in English, French, German, in some tourist area. I hope this video gives you good trick and information if you plan to cruise in this area. Thank you for watching as usual. And if you like the video, consider give it a thumbs up and also go ahead and subscribe my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye for now.